party concluded Kalai's body was probably carried away by the river. But from up there, that old tree would have caught her. I don't think she actually fell. I should check up at the promontory. Maybe the search party missed something. It looks like the search party took the trail under the stone arch. That must be the way up to the promontory. I'll save this for a dire. <sighs> Dead end. Not getting up to the promontory that way. I should see where the other trail leads, back by the broken bridge. Debris. There must have been another path up. I guess Kalai and the search party climbed the cliff instead. This broke off some time ago. Why do I get the feeling this isn't going to be an easy trail to follow? An old Utaru trailhead. Looks like this is where the Rite of Discovery started. Debris on the trail. It looks like pieces of a bridge. Looks like this fell down here a long time ago. Maybe from a storm.
of the trails broken away. Kalai must have climbed her way up, too. to the top she must have been a good climber it doesn't add up that she fell This must be the promontory. Looks like Kalai was doing something at that stone table. I should take a look. I was playing song, just like the first two Taru saw it. into a die. Kalai must have done this as part of her ritual. I should look around. My focus will help me figure out what happened to her. The search party was up here, all right. There's too many tracks to pick out Kalai's. These flowers have a trace of something on their petals. The dye Kalai was wearing. Looks like it left a trail. Too faint for the search party to have noticed, but my focus can pick it up. There's the dye trail. Looks like it leads away from the cliff edge. Mentioned this was part of the rite of discovery. All the marks look old. Climb must not have gotten to this part. Die trail ends here with a lot of broken branches. I should take a closer look. Branches were snapped off recently. From some kind of struggle? And over here, drag marks. Looks like they lead through this thicket. I can follow them with my focus.
two bodies? One must be Kalai, but who's the other woman? marks on her neck. She was strangled. At least I can return her seed pouch to Bree. So the killer must have tried to push Kalai off the cliff. That's why the search party found her instrument by the river. But Kalai fought back. So the killer strangled her. And then dragged her here. Right. Well, I guess that answers how the killer died. This fight's over just yet. Oh, Stalker's got a friend. Just what I needed. Okay. I better grab the killer's seed pouch. Might help identify her. Maybe Fane and Cal back in Plainsong will know who this seed pouch belongs to. This might have been the way the first Utaru climbed down the mountain. Looks like most of the path has crumbled away. A rush of air!
packs full, but my stash has room. Be on your guard out there, Outlander. Raise that piece. We all lament Calais' death, but perhaps it's time to move on. We keep no running into each other. Huh? That's Calais. You found it. Bree. Calais didn't fall. She was murdered. What? I went up to the promontory. I found Kalai and the body of the woman who killed her. That's impossible. The search party already checked up there. There was nothing. The bodies were in a separate clearing. Away from where the search party checked. A stalker had mauled her while she was trying to hide Kalai's body. Who was she? I was hoping you would know. I brought back her seed pouch. It belongs to Lina. Kel's apprentice. I, I don't understand. Why would she do this? Maybe we should ask Kel. But she... You, there. Where is Kel? 
I saw her leave out the East Gate about an hour ago. She's going home. Summer Wind. She's running away? She needs to stand trial. I can catch her. Where is this place? Look for a ruined settlement at our southern border. It's her childhood home. We will get the guards and try to catch up with you. What happened in the sacred cave? <laughs> That has to be some of my best work yet. Going down. Must be summer wind. But where is Kel? There's Kel. What's she holding? So now everyone knows. It was only a matter of time once you went up that cliff. You stood right next to the man whose wife you had murdered and told him to move on. I never wanted any of this to happen. Then why? Calais sowed the seeds of discord. She wanted the Utaru to leave Plainsong, abandon our home. If that thought caught on, it would have been more destructive than any sickness or machine. 
So you had her killed? There is a natural order to all things. Growth. Decay. Death. It's the way of the world. A tree cannot pick up its roots, so I stopped what was threatening us. And I'm sorry it came to it, but it's over now. I'm gonna make sure you pay for all the suffering you've caused. Too late. You think you stopped Kalai's beliefs from spreading? But when people hear what you did, they'll cast aside the old ways even more. No. And you won't be around to do anything about it. No! She needed to stand trial! Kalai deserves justice! Cal thought that silencing Kalai would silence her beliefs. Prove her wrong. That will give Kalai justice. It isn't much, but I want you to have this as thanks. I won't have to spend the rest of my days wondering what happened to Kalai. Blighted are the leaves. Three of our people dead. And for what? I admit it. I never wanted you among us. But now, it seems I must thank you for revealing the rot that had taken hold here. I'm sorry it had to happen this way. At least with the rot removed, new growth can thrive. I'll make sure Kel's body is properly seen to. I'll plant Kalai's seed pouch in plain song. You made that possible. Kel's treachery will be a shock to many in Plainsong. You've done enough for us, Outlander. Go while the roots are strong. I'll make sure Kel's body is properly seen to. Kel's treachery will be a shock to many in Plainsong. Kel would have gotten away with murder. If not for you, Aloy. Something nearby is sending that signal. All of us have somewhere better to be. Have I got news for you, Red?
Locked it up, huh? I hear the Tanakh are fighting each other quite a bit these days. Some of them contain machines. Those you've got to be real careful of. We've seen a whole bunch of them setting up outposts around here. Spotted one just west of here. A few settled at the edge of the desert in the southwest. They even set up camp in the south. Really helps a fellow sleep at night. Just make sure you steer clear of them. Those rebels are bad business. I'll keep an eye out for them well, if it isn't the here. most famous nor in the land. Talana. Glad to see you made it. Thanks to the secret passage through your base. It was quite a sight. Secret passage? Don't let the others hear you say that, or you'll have a lot of Osiram knocking at your door. And you are? This is Raggart. He's a scout with this caravan. He says Amadis was here. He joined up with our expedition right before we went through the tunnel. After we made camp here, I set out to do some scouting. I also made peace offerings to the Tanakh for trespassing in their territory. Amadis wanted me to ask around about some place called... The Rot. What did you find out? Most I learned was that it's where the Tanakh took their prisoners. Somewhere far to the west near Thornmarsh, the Lowland Clan's capital. He set out to find it not long after. Uh, on his own? I tried to warn him, but... He was dead set on going. So you're a scout for this crew. Anything I should know about the area? Where to start? Down south we got a trio of Osirum trying to delve into the ruins in the sand. Moreland and his showman. Yeah. That's the fellow. They're quite a spectacle on their own, let me tell you. And then there are all the other folk, who broke away as soon as we got to this side of the tunnel. Salvagers. Explorers. All sorts of daring venturers. Just how many of you were there? Enough to lose track, that's for sure. I've also spotted some rebels a while back, too. Seems like they've been patrolling the desert. Heard all about the rebellion from the Tanakh up in Scalding Spear. That's the Desert Clan's capital, north of here. Sounds like you've really gotten to know the area. It's what I do. Did Amadis say anything about why he was heading to the Rot? Afraid not. He was a man of few words. Sounds like him. Did he look okay to you? More or less. He seemed shaken when we learned the tunnel had collapsed behind us. But then again, so was everyone around here. What happened when you went through the tunnel? Nothing. Our crew split into two groups to pass through. 
Everyone here was part of the first crossing. Aside from some pitch black passages, it was quiet. Whatever befell the second group spared us. Steel Spark be praised. I'm looking into it. Much appreciated. A lot of us want to know what happened in there. Thanks, Raggart. This has been helpful. Hope you find him. Okay, I'll head for Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hold on. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh's territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just worried about him. I think it's more than that. I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. But then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine, I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. You ride machines, right? Well, apparently you're not the only one around here. <sighs> so it's true. A flame-haired huntress might look peaceful, all those bristles. They hide all kinds of dangers. She cleared out the machines. I think her name's <coughs> Eloy. I'm not pressing on until we can use that tunnel as an escape route. Look at that. A tall neck. I heard there was one in this area. Another Tomek sending out a signal. 
I was told there was one around. Room gear. It must be the crew I heard about. I'm on tracking Atomic. What are they up to? Stay here. That doesn't look good. I should check it out. Thing shoots anchors. They were trying to take down that tall neck. The machines must have caught them in the act. I wish there was a way to climb up and inspect the damage. Unless I take the tall neck down myself, try to repair it on the ground. It wouldn't be pretty, but at least we'll get fixed. I need more anchors. I also must have set up other ballistas in the area. I just gotta find them. I've already attached an anchor here. I need to look for more in the area. There's probably other anchors set up in the area. I need to find them. Use them to take down that tall neck. Hello to you too! I bet a ballista can help me fight these machines. <laughs> Looks like machines got to this one too. Another ballista. It's got one of the anchors I need. One more should weigh it down enough. More machines. I need to hurry. Attached an anchor here. I need to look for more in the area. There's a lot of fluid sloshing around in that bellow back sack.
I've already used that ballista. I should look for others in the area. These legs look too difficult to climb. I'll have to find another way. That weapon still has an anchor. Let's use it. These machines won't let up. About this big guy. I'm making good use of this.
This'll be over quick with frost ammo. 